had a moment I stood there right outside the door going, do I go in there and just tell him to F off? Yes, I'd love to do that. Or do I go in there and try to be professional and just move on? I want to ask you a little bit to maybe explain a an audition or a time in your life that you kind of felt how these guys feel, that you, whether it was way out there or just you kind of were annoyed with the process because of maybe a past role. Mm. I mean, I have a few here. Uh, the first one I, 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 that pops into my mind right now is is um, one where I was I was basically coming around the the, uh, the corner into in a room, and I heard um, uh, the, the producers and, and the casting director. They were talking about um, One Tree Hill, and they and they said, um, "Oh, he you know he's he he's just gotten off of One Tree Hill." And and what they said was, um, "I can't use this word," but they're like, "Oh, one of those One Tree Hill rhymes with door." Uh, one of those One Tree Hill doors, and uh, I was like, <laughs> and I'm like, did I just? And I'm like, yeah, I just heard exactly. I'm like, well, that's interesting. And so I had a moment. I stood there right outside the door, going, do I go in there and just tell him to f off? Yes, I'd love to do that. Or do I go in there and try to be professional and just move on? Fortunately, I went with the latter. I still really wish I did the, the former, just because I really wanted to give him a piece of my mind. But. Um, yeah, there's um, it's endless uh, in there. <laughs> We've had a little run the gamut on everything. Uh, what's happened to me, at least? Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I, I think one a, a sort of I guess it was sort of a broad experience that I had that I can sort of I think we sort of brought this into the show and I can relate to how sort of Jeremy where Jeremy is in our show um, is from my own experience just coming off of One Tree Hill um, of just being so young on that show. Um, and I guess naive in that I thought that when that show ended, things would be pretty easy for me, um, that it would be easy to work again um, in, in television. And coming out of One Tree Hill, I think I was, it was a real, it was a real reality check. It was a real wake up call as to how incredibly competitive it is out there and how, um, you know, I, I probably should have been doing a lot more work earlier in my career while I was doing One Tree Hill to build a foundation for myself back in Los Angeles. Um, yeah, I, I just remember being sort of slapped in the face with that for a few years there and, and realizing that this is going to be much tougher than I ever gave it credit for. So um, I better sharpen my elbows and, and get in the game. You know what I mean? I mean, I can relate I'm, to both of those stories that the boys just said. I mean, it's just a, it's a mystery. Every time you get an audition, you don't really know what to expect um and the same as what, what James was saying I mean I, I I really struggled in Australia in before I moved over here the industry there is very clicky and I found it really hard <laughs> to kind of yeah get a get a get a look in I guess would be the word in Australia at all and you know and then coming over here and then having you know the wonderful experience I did on the Royals with four years of consistent work and then coming off and again thinking that things would be easier uh, easier but they were not um it was quite the opposite and you have a tough time and it's adapting to that and you you just don't know what to expect i mean it really is a mystery every single time you have an audition like sometimes it's great you'll go in and it's and it's one of those experiences where you know there's no there's hardly anyone in the waiting room and everyone's really friendly and and the casting director's really paying attention to you and then you'll go in and um you're told it's a callback and you're you know, really being considered for this role and the whoever's in the room with you is texting like the whole time, like during your scene or they're reading, um, you know, you've prepared this really emotional you know, monologue or whatever for the scene and the person you're reading opposite, it doesn't know the lines, is reading them and there's like massive pauses between each of their, I mean, it's just a, I mean, a kick, kick. It's just... <laughs> You walk out and you burst into tears and it's all over and then you pull yourself back up. It's, um, yeah. Well, I think we like, there's so many times where we've gone in, and I think we can all relate to this, where you're supposed to be reading with, you know, I'm having a, an emotional scene with my mother who is, you know, much older and, and I'm reading with an actor that's male that's like 22 years old. Yeah. <laughs> Stuff like that happens. Yeah. You're like, See, now we're just getting like, into future EDG storylines, I think. Yeah, now we're just, is, now we're just getting is, away. Yeah. Yeah. Jimmy is new to LA. He's 20 and he's going to play your mother. You're like, <laughs> yeah. nice to meet you, Jimmy. 